Today, I will show you how to install WHMCS completely free in 2025. So without skipping the video, watch the full video and learn how to install it step by step and get the license file. First you need to log into cPanel. Click on Softaculous Apps Installer. A page like this will open, find WHMCS from here. To install WHMCS, you need domain and hosting. I personally suggest you buy cheap domain for most. If you buy domain hosting from my link in the link description, you will get 30% discount. After arriving at this page, you will need to select your domain. I will select my subdomain and install it here. For cron jobs, I will set it to 5 minutes and star the rest. I will leave the default admin user and make the password a little strong. You will keep your password and user secret, which you will never share with anyone. Since I am showing a demo, there is no need to keep it secret. After this I am giving you my first license key for free. You will find it in my description. If you have any problem, you can contact me directly on my WhatsApp, you will not have to pay any charge for it. Now click on install. Then wait for a while for it to install. In this section, I will tell you where to get the license file. You can contact me directly on WhatsApp. Or visit the link given in my description and collect it directly. You will get this license for free for life. After installation, click on the link like me to see if the site is installed. I am showing 503 server problem here, you will also see this problem there. Don't be afraid. Follow me. Like me, you need to enter the cPanel and find the license.php file. I found the license.php file, delete it permanently, and upload the license.php I gave you. Now I will refresh and reload the tab where I opened the link. You will see that the 503 server problem will be resolved. Now I will check everything properly. So I will verify with any demo domain name using the verify code that the domain extension works or not, but probably it will not work because I have not selected the TLD. When I select the TLD, then everything will be visible. But is everything else okay, like logging register works or not? Finally, I will enter the admin panel. So from Softcooler, I will click on the admin link and open it in a new tab. After opening, I will log in with the user and password that were given during the installation of WHMCS. Since I have given the user admin and password pass at 123 in the demo mode, I will log in with that. When you log into the admin panel for the first time, an interface or pop-up like this will appear. However, this will only appear for the first time and will not appear again the next time. You will need to do some basic setup here. There is a small error in the 2024 license, which has been resolved. Anyway, go ahead with the company name, address, and other information in the basic settings as I did. Clicking on the last finish line will take you to the WHMCS admin panel, from here you can control everything. And you can also see the validity of this license, which has been made lifetime only for you. For any problem, you can contact me directly on my WhatsApp number given in the description and first comment. If you like the video, please share it and like comment and subscribe.